double leg stretches. So I'm bringing my head and shoulders up off the floor. Those of you that are doing beginner's classes, that are used to doing beginner's class, what we're doing is we're pulling those knees into the chest and back down to the floor. Now just to point out that any of these exercises, if your head and your shoulders are sore, which I always point out in the class, then you can do any of these exercises with your head, neck and shoulders on the floor as well. So if your head and shoulders are getting sore with the towel, without the towel, you can do them with the, back down on the floor again. So double leg stretch is this one, pulling those knees in and back down for beginners. Or for advanced, we are pulling those knees in and back down, straightening out those legs each time. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my head and shoulders up on the floor. Bring your head and shoulders up on the floor if you can. Only if it's sore, really drop them down to the floor and you can do the exercise on the floor with your head and shoulders on the floor. So, double leg stretches, coming up as much as we can, making it hard on those abs, and off we go for one. And two, so, intermediate level, we're bringing those hands down to the side. Three, if you wanna try a harder version, Bring those hands up over your head and swing them around. Five. Six. Seven. Breathe it out as I bring those knees in. Breathe it in on the way down. One. Two. Three. Swing those arms around. You don't have as much room here to swing as I should. Do you get the idea? So I'm going to go for 40 of these. I'm going to go with the advanced one, 40 for me. 20 if you're a beginner. And you bring those legs back down to the floor. With the knees bent like that, if you're a beginner. Ten. Nine. Make sure you breathe. Eight. Seven. Breathe it out on the way in. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And relax them. Close legs back down to the floor. Next exercise is going to go straight into it. Before we come up and stretch. I'm going to do the bicycle. So bicycle is a great one for those abs. If we're working on those six packs as well as giving up most of the food that we eat every day. It's a great one for six packs as well. So I am going to put the hands behind the head or use the towel for this one. I am going to beginner's level, bring that knee up to the elbow and back down like that, keeping the knee bent all the time. Intermediate level, cut in and out like that. Intermediate advanced. Advanced level, we'll do a few more of them. Okay, so three, two, one, and off I go. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit for this one. Really pulse those abs. I think I had this one in the circuit trend as well. Really good one for her. Really working those abs hard. Nearly there. And pull those knees again, stretching before you come up into the seated position. Again, as we've said before, hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. So we're going to stretch again. This stretch, I want you to hold it for at least 20 a minute. So I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds again to demonstrate, maybe 20 seconds for me today, but demonst I'm demonstrating it. But make sure you try and hold it for a minute if you can, this one. Why we hold this one for longer is because you're stretching so much in this exercise. I'm stretching my arms, I'm stretching my shoulders, I'm stretching my legs, I'm stretching my lower back, I'm stretching my spine, stretching those hamstrings. So many stretches in this exercise. Really useful stretch. If you're tight for time, either you're working out, and you want to do one or two stretches, stretch a lot of things together, and this is the one, one of the ones you should do. Okay, so next exercise, or next stretch actually. Hands on the head, straighten that head up, bring the head up towards the ceiling. Again, this stretch, hold it for a minute. Stretching so many different parts, bringing those elbows back, 
Stretching out the spine, bending forward, bringing that head down towards the ankles and toes. When you can't go any further down, you're pointing those elbows down towards the floor and slowly coming down. Keeping those knees on the floor. Again, really good stretch, lower back, spine, legs. Okay, so I'm only going to hold it for 20 seconds. Hold it for a minute if you can, if you have time. I'm going to do the roll down, roll up. So, starting off as near to those toes as you can, lowering myself down, squeezing and tightening those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles down to the floor. If you're not used to doing it, then just go down to your lowest point. Stop, and then come all the way back up. Breathing. I'm taking a big deep breath in at the start, and as I breathe out, I'm squeezing and tightening those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles, and I'm using them to lower myself down to my lowest, or if you're used to doing it, all the way down to the floor. Taking a big deep breath in. As I breathe out, I'm pushing that lower back into the floor, I'm squeezing and tightening those core muscles, and I'm coming all the way back up, using those core muscles to pull myself all the way back up. So one. Okay, I'm gonna go to nine more. Again, the key to this one is to take it really, really slowly. Working on those core muscles as I breathe out, after taking that big deep breath in, pushing that lower back into the floor, squeezing and tighten those core muscles and using them to pull myself all the way back up. Two, big deep breath in, as I breathe out, squeezing and tighten those core muscles, using them to lower myself down as slowly as I can to the floor. Take your time when you're down there, if you only need to take a breather when you're down there, do so. So, especially for this exercise, roll down, roll up, take your time. Four. Halfway there, five down, five to go. Again, keep thinking about this one. I have to keep thinking myself about it. So you need to keep thinking about it. As I breathe out, I'm squeezing and tightening those core muscles. I'm using them to lower myself down to the floor. This area here, it's a control center of this exercise. And then the same on the way back up. I'm pushing that lower back into the floor as I breathe out. Using those core muscles to pull myself all the way back up. And I'm going to stretch each time, last few. John is still finding this very entertaining, which is great. So, we found out something new today that if John is crying, all I have to do is get down the floor and start doing Pilates. Stop him from crying. It's that easy. Not. So remember to keep your composure for this one. Keeping that lower back on the floor. Going down one vertebra at a time. And coming back up one vertebra at a time. So two left. So make sure you keep your composure. Think about what you're doing. I lose concentration myself when I'm doing it, but I'm coming towards the end for the last few. Squeeze and tighten those core muscles. I have to really concentrate for those last two. You start getting tired. And one last one to finish, and for the last one, we're going to go down to our lowest point. <sighs> hold it at that lowest point, maybe for 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All the way down. I'm going to come up to my lowest point again and hold in 3, 2, 1. Up I come and hold for 10 seconds, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze in and tighten those core muscles, pelvic floor muscles as much as I can. And up I come to the end. So I'm going to stretch again. Pushing that right leg out to the side. I am going to go all the way down this left leg, keeping the knee on the floor and stretch out that left hamstring, bringing the head down towards the knee. Again, work for 30 seconds for this one. Thirty seconds. I'm just going to hold it for ten, 
and all the way down that right leg, pushing that left leg out to the side, bring that head down towards the knee. Really deep stretch on that right hamstring, gonna hold it for 10 seconds only. And gonna finish up there until the next part, next final part coming up. So see you in a few minutes.